Today, Jagex released their plans for a new runecrafting minigame, Guardians of the Rift. Now, most of us have had our nostrils full of Adderall and our real life responsibilities are slowly crumbling around us because of Leagues 3. We for sure haven't gone and taken a look over at the old school RuneScape news post. But luckily for you, I took a break from all the snorting and grinding to deliver an overview of the new minigame. Now, most of you are familiar with the terrible skill of runecrafting. You dump some lamps into it, hoping for the day when Jagex releases an easier way to train the skill. Well, that day is soon, my friends, because that minigame looks just like that. Runecrafting currently tops out at around 80k XP per hour while being sweaty as fuck. I'm talking lines of Adderall in a poop bucket levels of sweat. Man, bathroom. And with a gold buying addiction and the ability to buy literal essence running slaves, you can get more than 200,000 runecrafting XP. But these methods aren't for everyone. Us plebs that the autistic gods look down on maybe get 30 to 50k runecrafting XP per hour. And that's doing some pretty intense methods. ZMI, blood runes, and soul runes are really the only option for the average player. And well, let's be honest, the XP fucking blows. Now you can say, hey, you make some money, but really you don't. Blood runes have fucking tanked, so you're not making more than half a mil per hour there. And the other two methods are so slow, we don't even want to talk about them. Now, not to mention the ever looming threat of suicide from spending all day crafting the runes to cast some dumbass spells. It's a pretty bad skill in its current state. Oh, but all the neat neatly gamers will tell you different, swear it's the next coming of Jesus Christ and old school runescape. Listen, buddy, we want to have fun while we play the game, not want to kill ourselves, okay? And listen, I'm saying all of this while being someone who has 99 runecrafting and a runecrafting cape. The skill is in a dire need of a rework, rebalance, just something to make it more enjoyable. And hopefully this Guardians of the Rift is just that. It's going to be a new skilling minigame that's going to reward you with decent XP and decent GP, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to break it down for you a little bit. There's going to be a bunch of little Rift Guardians. Apparently these little bastards control the flow of magic entering Gilinor. So, hey, they're pretty important and we need to save them from little creepy crawly abyssal creatures that are swarming in. Pretty much there's gonna be a giant guardian that will need to charge up through some cracked out rune essence that's essentially a battery plus essence so that he can blast off all the little abyssal creatures and win the round. But before we just straight power him up with this bomb, we're gonna to need to do some tasks inside the minigame. And this will split the rounds into three phases. Now, hey, I'm not gonna deep dive into their wall of text for each phase because it might change but just know that it seems very interesting and involved. So it's probably not going to be AFK, but you'll probably be able to have a YouTube video playing in the background. And hey, at least you'll probably have fun while you're doing it. Now, listen, huge disclaimer over the next portion. These rewards are subject to change. Your vote matters and it could honestly make or break an item. So if you like one, make sure you vote for it. The first proposed reward is just a new currency that these little magic fuckers will use. And it's just called the Abyssal Pearls. Now, it's pretty hardcore using the eyes of your enemies as currency, but I mean, this is RuneScape and most of us use the spine of demons to kill things. So, hey, these little Abyssal Pearls will allow you to buy things in the reward shop, pretty much like Zeal or any other minigame reward. Now, the first real reward is the Abyssal Needle. This bad boy allows you to upgrade your runecrafting pouches into one colossal pouch. Now, you won't get any more space, but this one pouch is the same as all four others combined. So it'll definitely save some clicks while crafting runes. Definitely a nice little addition if it actually makes it into the game. And I'm really curious if it'll actually speed up the meta runecrafting methods. I think probably like a slight boost, but only time will tell for that one. Next up is the Abyssal Lantern. It'll pretty much be like a bug lantern that we have currently. It, it's going to sit in your shield slot, but but the cool thing with this is it's going to provide some dope bonuses to runecrafting while in the minigame. And on screen now are those proposed bonuses. You can just pause the video and read down them. The fucking dope fashion scape that I have been waiting for is the runecrafting scaling outfit. It'll consist of four pieces that you'll need to buy. And knowing Jagex and knowing their community and that all the little nerds will cry they have made this set to increase GP per hour while runecrafting and not XP. Fucking great, boys. I'm thumbing up. You can't see it, but I'm thumbing up for you. And now I'm not sure if I'm retarded or my brain is melting from playing leagues too much or what, but apparently it's going to be 
percent like you heard that right boys 60 percent more runes while crafting with the full set and each set piece is going to give a 10 percent bonus to crafting runes now that seems absolutely fucking bonkers and it's probably going to crash the price of runes but i mean we'll have to see when it enters the game how it actually is so the final item seems fucking broken as shit with how they're wording it they're saying it's going to have infinite teleports to the elemental altars air earth fire and water this is going to be the ring of the elements now if you remember earlier i was talking about the sweaty nerds with the poop buckets and getting 80k xp per hour yeah well that's done at the fire altar and i think this is going to just break their brains and put rune crafting xp on steroids the ring of dueling pretty much is right at the fire altar i hear you i hear you but these tick perfect fucks don't even need to save two seconds that shit over a thousand hours that they're going to play and do it is a lot of XP. So, I mean, I'm not really sure on this item. I, I think, I think we, we all need to vote on this one. Um, but listen, Hey, I could be wrong. Please comment down below your thoughts on it. Positive, negative. I, I'd love to hear it, to be honest. Just, just, I want to have a discussion about this and, um, yeah, anything else pertaining to the update? Uh, I don't really give a fuck. It's really just the rewards and the actual gameplay and the XP of it. So that's it, boys. That's pretty much the whole update for me. Anyways, seems pretty dope. Um, you know, a couple of the rewards may be a little broken, but Hey, broken. It's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. We'll have to see how the community freaks out over this one and how things actually end up coming into the game. That's what's awesome about old school runescape. You know, you put out these blog posts, which no other game really does. If we're going to be honest, no MMO really does it to the same level as old school runescape. And then us, the players can say like, Hey, no, that's fucking broken. I don't want it in my game. And boys, it doesn't enter the game. That that's something that like we need to cherish and hold on to. I know like the community hates them, blah, 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 man. Well, we got it good. <laughs> we have it good. You don't know how green your grass is until you go and venture over to someone else's yard and see how fucking brown it is. We have that green ass blue grass. Okay. So anyways, that's it. <laughs> that rant's over. Uh, I'm going back to leagues three. So uh, I'm gonna keep grinding that. I have a video coming out on that soon. If you guys are interested in, you know, hit that subscribe button, but any comments you have over it, please let me know, man. Like, I think this is dope. I have 99 room crafting already, but I'm gonna be grinding it for that set because I love actually like room crafting, room crafting. I may just be a psychopath, but it's, it's pretty dope to me. So anyways, guys, that's the video. Thanks for watching.